Hello and welcome to the section 2 of the course Forensics Imaging, Acquiring Forensics Images. Now in this section we are going to take a look at various points. We are going to learn about the imaging tools which are available in Windows and Kali Linux machine and we are going to learn about the imaging processes of drives. So let's start with the first video Forensics Imaging Overview. Now in this video we are going to take a look at couple of points. First of all what is imaging and then what is the process to perform imaging and why we need it. So guys if we talk about the imaging process what is imaging so forensic image is a copy of a physical device for example if you have a USB drive or external drive you want to make a copy then you can use the imaging process right it is going to create a bit by bit sector by sector copy of that physical device if I talk about example for example internal drives inside your system or external drives like pen drive or USB so you can use them and you can create a direct copy and with the help of the imaging tools. Now why we need it? For example, if I provide you a scenario and if we talk about a crime scene, so for example from the crime scene we collected a few USB drives or pen drives and we got few computers there, right? So the next step is basically to collect the evidence properly and perform imaging, right? Create a copy of uh, the evidence. So next is basically forensics examiner will create a copy with the help of imaging process. So there are various tools which we can use like FTK imager we can use, Guy imager that tools we can use to perform imaging and we will create a direct copy of that particular physical device right. So if we want to analyze then we are going to analyze with the help of this copy. We are not going to touch the original device or original evidence. Got it? So create a copy with the help of imaging process and then analyze that copy. So in another device you can simply analyze this copy and you can learn the processes or the vulnerabilities available in the site. But we are not going to alter the original evidence. This is why we need imaging process. right? So again if I repeat the process from the crime scene you got the physical devices create the images or the copy of those devices with the help of imaging process and then analyze the copy. Got it? So this is basically called imaging process.